Here we have a place value chart, and we count place values from the decimal point. So our whole number place values are our ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands, and our decimal place values are our tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. So if we just have four ones, really we have invisible zeros in all of our other place values. But we don't need to write zeros at the start of a whole number, and we don't need zeros on the end of decimals. It's important to understand that there is really an invisible decimal point on the end of every whole number, but when we're writing whole numbers, we don't need to include the decimal point. So what if we have four tenths? Again, if that's all we have, then all of our other place values are really zeros. So if we only have four tenths, we don't need zeros in any of our whole number place values except for our ones. We can never have an empty ones column. So that's 0 0.400, but we don't need zeros on the end of decimals because all these zeros tell us is that we don't have any extra hundredths or thousandths, but 0 0.4 tells us that as well so we don't need zeros on the end of decimals. So what if we have four hundredths? Again, we really have invisible zeros in all of our other place values. If we only have four hundredths, we don't need to write the zeros in our whole number place values except for our ones column. We also don't need zeros on the end of decimals because all this zero here tells us is that we don't have any extra thousandths but we do need to include this zero in our tenths. That's because we need to show that this four is in our hundredths column, and if we didn't have this zero, we would have the same as four tenths. But to show that it's hundredths, we need a zero in our tenths, so that the four is the second digit after the decimal point, because that's our hundredths column. So what if we have four tens and four hundredths? Again, all of our other place values are really zeros. We don't need zeros at the start of a whole number, and we don't need zeros on the end of decimals. But we do need these zeros here. This zero in our ones is important, because without that, the four would be in our ones column, but we need to show that we have four tens. And again, like before, this zero in our tenths is important, because we need to show that we have four hundredths, and our hundredths place value column is always the second place value column, so the second digit after the decimal point. Now what if we have four thousandths, four tenths, four tenths, and four thousandths? We really have zeros in all of our other place value columns. We don't need zeros at the start of a whole number, but we do need these zeros that we have in between our non-zero digits. That's because these zeros are placeholders. They give the other digits the right place value. So if we didn't have this zero, the four would be in our hundreds, but we need to show four thousands. And if we didn't have this zero in our hundreds, the four would be in our hundreds column, but we need to show that this four stands for four thousandths, so it needs to be the third digit after the decimal point which means we need this zero in our hundreds. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent, then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.